boy, that looks really, really homemade. Kind of duct tape, electric tape. Electric tape, the prop on the tip. That's definitely homemade. A new use for duct tape. <laughs> no, that's electrical tape. I don't think that's... Uh, Yes. Really? That's what I'm thinking. Look at what? The guy straight ahead with the backpack on. That's got the propeller on the backpack. Oh yeah. Don't tell me he's going to take off with that. No. Uh, but it, that's what you. That's how you wear that plane, and it just has a parachute over it. One of those Ram Air parachutes. No kidding. I'll have to take a look at that. The the. Uh, thing about them is that uh, they fly at a constant 25 miles per hour, uh, but you open up the throttle and you go up and you close down the throttle and you come down and uh, that's how it works. <laughs> so you gotta be... You don't go any faster, you just either go up or go down. Very stable. You, you, the way that you steer is you want to go Make that side that you don't have a drag. Otherwise, this is going to be pretty straight. You're not going to fall out of the sky. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I fly with a, I have a vest that I fly with as a camera vest, and I, I got my cell phone and my, my camera, and I'll always, I get up, you know, 500 feet or so, and let go of the toggles. I got a cruise control on my throttle. I simply go through the thing in for the cruise control, pull my camera out, and take my picture. Out. So fun. We got to do this. What you do? You get in there. If you guys live in Plant City, man, do it. There's a group of us that fly around here, and they take off running. Most of them flew this morning out at Watergrass. The same way when you come in, you just like a bird. You've never seen a bird when it comes in. Whenever the weather's right, you know. The same thing we do. Except we just pull brakes. Burrows wing, slows it down. You just step If we wanted to make a trip from like Lake City to Orleans, it's possible to do, but you know, is it the smartest thing to do? It depends. It's not just a man's sport. Then you can get into it if you buy new equipment. You can get into it. Right, and also, you know, if you have an engine out, unless you're you don't have to have hangar fees. You know. You just put it in your garage. Well, you can see how easy they are to transport. Coming down on yeah, the power sure. lines. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever flown in a small thing? Yeah. Okay. You know you can't see the lines. Yeah. You have to know where you're flying. But you can Google a lot of sites. You can tell your route between some evening and you don't have anything else to do. This is Paul. I have nothing to do with him. He's got a great website. He's some great videos. Can you get one, sir? Sure. He's located in Cape we're from Virginia. Uh -huh. We just fly together. We go to a lot of well, flying together. Yeah. He's got a really good website, great training program. He didn't really say anything. He was training. Yeah. Then you decide to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And the engine, everything size for each individual. Wow. One, one of these doesn't suit everyone. Flight time is 15 miles an hour. 